hi guys and welcome back to my channel i feel like we're on a roll here but i thought i'd make another video since i was already set up so um i just filmed my lash box experience if you guys want to check that out i'm sure that's the previous video but as i was here i wanted to do a top five that's it guys top five um, must-have lash products. Um, so these are things that I use every single day and I couldn't get through my lash day without these. So I wanted to um, share that with you guys. Um, so let's go ahead and get into it. So first and foremost, at the beginning of each day and between um, my clients or when I'm about to start my client, usually I will use this little guy and if you're asking what this is, it is a glue shaker. Um, so basically you would insert your, actually I do have the glue. Insert the glue here and you would press this button and it would start to shake your glue. Um, so you definitely want to shake your glues before, or each morning before you start like your, um, your day, but also between clients, what that does is it just mixes up the cyanoacrylate with all of the other products inside of your glue and make sure um, that your glue is properly shaken. That way you don't have poor retention and all of that good stuff. Um, so I absolutely love this. Little known fact, y'all. So a lot of lash companies are selling this as glue shaker in reality. I don't mean to bust anyone's bubble, but this is actually meant to, or was created to wash like makeup brushes easier. So like when I purchased this, like I know that there's certain lash brands that are selling it for like 20 bucks or something like that, or even more, maybe like 30. Um, this was like 14 bucks on Amazon. It came with a bunch of different of these little things. Um, and it came with like a bowl to wash your brushes, but obviously that's not what I'm using it for, but just know guys that a lot of the stuff in the lash industry is repurposed from other industries and private labeling look into it um i have this which again um you can find these in many different places but it's basically just um an airtight container of course i got a yellow and black one for the hive but you basically store your glues inside of it so i have like a silica packet that came with my glues and i just store my glues in here and i just put the top on and it keeps my glues nice and fresh um so i absolutely love this thing and i don't know how i was storing my glues before this um the rice thing is a lot so i i'm glad i found this guy this is a big thing so acetone um basically like when you get glue on your tweezers or anything like that worst nightmare ever i used to um be in the habit of filing my tweezers which sometimes i'm still guilty of but i keep acetone on hand to break that habit because obviously we don't want to continue to file down our tweezers one that's going to continuously change our sweet spot so we're just going to have utter frustration if not that day then in a couple weeks because if we keep filing it's just going to dwindle down the metal secondly um you don't want to file um too because eventually you'll grind down it seems like one side more than the other um so you'll at one point you're just going to kill your tweezers and lastly you technically can't have a nail file um per state board so you know throw that in like your personal drawer but um just just a thing um so i keep a baby bottle of acetone on hand um, and I probably could put this in like a container or something, which I might, but um, I dip my tweezers into it um, just to get rid of like any of the dried glue that's in there and then just rub that on um, a towel or tissue um, to get the glue off instead of scraping it. So must, must, must have. My blue tape, which is my favorite tape to um, utilize um i did recently like i said take the lash box training so i am i'm gonna start utilizing foam tape but this has been my tried and true for absolute years i don't understand how people put paper tape on their clients do you want to torture them it hurts <laughs> um so basically blue tape is a silicone sensitive tape um that is a lot more gentle on the eyes um 
I personally tried Nichiban tape recently and I just don't think that it stays tacky um, to reposition or in general I feel like it lifts off of my clients um, this is really really sticky stays down um, but it's still really gentle and sensitive on the skin um, it is a little bit more expensive if you just get it at Target or Rite Aid or your convenience store like CVS but if you buy this in bulk on Amazon it's gonna be relatively um, cheaper to get so I buy it in three to six um bulk um and usually i can get the price down to about five dollars um if not less i have to double check on that but it's a lot better because at cvs rite aid target you'll find it for upwards of seven to ten dollars so i mean you're gonna use it anyways and lastly um definitely going to be a big big um, I used to use a dental mirror um, way back when, um, but they have since come out with these really, really big ones. Um, so personally, this one is from Lash B, which is a lash company that I came across at IBS 2019. Um, and there are several brands that carry like the very big mirror, but this is so, so important to utilize, um, not only, well, at all times really, um, but to make sure that you're getting even coverage, that you're, you're going eye to eye and getting the right areas so that you don't get any weird gaps. Um, also to make sure that when you're taping, you know, you utilize and you check that their eye is not being exposed to the glue. Um, so I definitely would recommend this. Um, so those are my top five um, must-have um, products. Um, I will continue to be sharing some more lash content, so I hope that you guys are enjoying it. If you guys have any questions about all this, if it has a link, I will try to link it down below. And if I haven't, feel free to DM me. I'll, all the links will be provided down below. And I really, really hope that you guys have a great day, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.